Hello guys, welcome to another video related to Samsung Galaxy S7 2016 and in this video I am going to review, uh, uh, install and review the Deluxe ROM which is a C9 Pro full port for the J7 2016 and this is not the C9 Pro full port, this is the Enigma version 6 I was just testing so let's uh, start with the review of the C9 Pro full port with the installation So first of all power off your device, just uh, power it off. And press the volume up button, the home button and the power button at the same time. And your device will be booted into a recovery mode. Okay, so this is the recovery mode, I will just uh, decrease some brightness here. Now let's go to backup first, just uh, back up your old ROM, swipe the backup, then go to wipe, Dalvik system, data and cage, no need to wipe internal or SD card. Let's go to back, now go to install and just install the deluxe ROM UX. So nothing more is uh, required, the VLD is also there and if it's not there I will tell you what to do. So I let this installation finish, it may take some time, it doesn't have any aroma installer but it takes some time. The installation is successful, now just reboot system and we have a normal boot animation so the boot logo has uh, unchanged. I was on stock ROM for uh, 5 hours to test the kernels and this is the normal android boot animation we get. So. Uh, uh, let's uh, I will wait for this to boot and I will give the review of this also the anti benchmark score as you can see the ROM has booted up and yes this is a fresh scene and pro fort uh, uh, and it's looking like fully node 7 apps and uh, see this music app is really old uh, oh now the new music app is really good and oh so this is really old music player and uh, looking at taking a look at the quick settings, these are the Grace UX and older icons we see in the stock pre rooted ROM for this J716. And here also the Note 7 settings about device we get here J7. Model number C900F, which is uh, like a build property editor, the build number C900FDD. So let's uh, clear all this and check out the RAM at first boot. and device maintenance and here RAM so I'm getting 1 GB of RAM that is good because it's uh, near to stock ROM that's why we are getting a good uh, MB amount of RAM free now looking at this apps are really same and not totally different like the older stock pre rooted ROM we get but the S secure uh, which is an extra thing so let's go into settings uh, if we really get that uh, okay from directly here we can uh, oh sorry can directly choose it and we have the lock and hide apps and the secure Wi-Fi thing so uh, not many changes we have the briefing to here also some rom controls uh, let's go to the rom control but really a uh, very uh, uh, minimal rom control we have three minute battery mods the battery uh, minute clock mods some special uh, functions only this two then the lock screen settings only one rotation phone settings in development and extras are like super su so nothing extra more some light apps so I will suggest this ROM for gaming users who want good performance because it's very light it's very fast not like the asset very heavy and not so and uh, nothing more about this review this is a really fast ROM we get this normal grace UX uh, 
icons and uh, apps from the note 7 camera is also working good clicks good amount of pictures uh, the picture quality will remain normal only this is the mods these are the mods we get normally on every rom filters to and swipe down to take selfies so uh, this is how is the ui of the camera so also we are getting a good amount of ram so multitasking is will be better and also we get multi windows so uh, this is a very awesome rom for those gaming users and performance once so now i will install the anti 2 benchmark app and will give you the anti 2 score for this so this is the score i received 46012 on the uh, signan pro full port rom uh, which is okay decent and you can have a good gaming uh, time with your g7 2016 on this rom and performance will be also great so if you want a good performance for for gaming and a uh, normal time you should install this rom and 46,012 is a good one. You can see the 3D has got 5014. The UX has got 17653. CPU 16875. And the RAM is 6470. So that's a good score. Uh, so uh, guys, uh, this was for the video. And just wanted to tell you more, one more thing that the VLD is also working. So uh, if you like this video, press the like button. If you don't, press the dislike button. And for more such videos, subscribe to the channel and bye.